Hi all. Welcome to Periodontology Lecture Series. Every dental student is familiar with the term GTR that is guided tissue regeneration. In this short lecture class we will discuss in a very simplified pictorial way about this concept. We will have a quick recap on periodontium. It includes the investing gingiva and supporting alveolar bone, periodontal ligament and cementum. Whenever bacterial insults occur, changes happen in the gingiva and periodontium. The initial gingivitis can be reverted easily with proper treatment. But when it progresses to periodontitis with attachment loss and bone loss, the treatment and healing becomes a little complicated. If we are providing adequate treatment including non-surgical and surgical therapies, the tissues start to heal. The region can be repopulated by different types of cell. The arrow A indicates the cells that is the epithelial cells. B is the connective tissue cells of gingiva. C are the alveolar bone cells and D the cells from periodontal ligament. We can imagine a car race. So whoever wins the race repopulates the area and determines the fate of healing. If the epithelial cells repopulate, then it forms the long junctional epithelium. If the connective tissue cells of gingiva comes, then connective tissue adhesion with parallel fibers form. If bone cells repopulate, then root resorption and ankylosis occur. These all result in compromise repair. In the diagram, the first three picture depicts repair which is not desirable because it is prone for recurrence of the disease. Ideally what we want is regeneration of lost alveolar bone, periodontal ligament and cementum which can occur only if periodontal ligament cells repopulate. This regeneration is the most desirable outcome. So we need to do something. That is we need to exclude the undesirable cells by creating a barrier. This picture of aircraft might help you to memorize it. We need to exclude the cells which we don't want to repopulate and make the region favorable for the repopulation of periodontal ligament cells which forms the basis of Melcher's concept. In the diagram, Imagine red cells as epithelial and connective tissue cells from gingiva which we don't want to interfere in healing and blue consider as periodontal ligament cells which help in attaining proper regeneration. Now coming to the clinical scenario in the surgery after debriding the area and removing granulation tissues bone grafts may be used and root biomodification may be done. And over that, barriers, that is membranes, can be used to exclude the undesirable cells. There are different types of membranes and different generations of membranes. Non-resorbable membranes like millipores, teflon were first used. But they needed a second surgery to remove it at a later time, that is around 3 to 6 weeks. They are non-resorbable. Then, resorbable membranes came like Osequest, Bioguide, Atresorb, they were used. Now, resorbable membranes with growth factors are also available. GTR is more predictable in vertical defects, class 2 furcation involvement, in teeth with less gingival recession, teeth having wide keratinous gingiva, thick gingiva, and in those teeth with wide interdental space. It is most favorable in teeth with minimum mobility and in those persons with good oral hygiene. Few measurements we need to keep in mind while placing membranes that is the apical border of membrane should be 3 to 4 mm apical to the defect laterally 2 to 3 mm beyond the defect one more measurement that is it should be placed 2 mm apical to the cemento enamel junction of the teeth. Membrane exposure should be avoided and stability should be maintained with proper suturing techniques. If conditions are favorable, adequate regeneration of lost attachment apparatus occurs and as weeks and months pass by, the resorbing, resorbable membranes resorb by itself 
according to the type used as you can see in the picture the membrane dissolves by itself if it is a resorbable membrane this is a case from a standard textbook which explains the whole process a deep vertical defect is diagnosed clinically and radiographically after surgical exposure and debridement membranes were placed in sutures sutured in the reentry surgical stage excellent regeneration can be appreciated clinically and radiographically so to conclude gtr or guided tissue regeneration is the method for the prevention of epithelial migration along the cemental wall of the pocket and maintaining space for clot stabilization hope the concept of gtr is clear thank you